The Poet by Alfred Tennyson The poet in a golden clime was born, of golden stars above, dowered with the hate of hate, the scorn of scorn, the love of love. He saw through life and death, through good and ill, he saw through his own soul, the marvel of the everlasting will and open scroll. Before him lay, with echoing feet he threaded, the secrets the walks of fame, with viewless arrows of his thoughts were headed and winged the flame. Like Indian reeds blown from her silver tun, and of Sophia's a flight from Kalpan to Caucasus they sung, filling with light. And vagrant melodies the winds which bore from earthward till they lit, when like the arrow seeds of a field flower, the fruitful wit, cleaving took root and springing forth anew, and ere they fell, behold, like to the mother plant and semblance, grew a flower all gold, and bravely furnished all abroad to fling the winged shafts of truth, to throng with stately blooms the breathing spring of hope and youth. So many minds did grit their orbs with beams, for one did fling the fire, heaven flowed upon the soul and many dreams of high desire. Thus truth was multiplied on truth, the world like a great garden showed, and through the wreaths of floating dark upcurred, rare sunrise flowed. And freedom reared in that august sunrise, a beautiful bold bro, when reeds and forms before his burning eyes melted like snow. There was no blood upon her maiden robes, sunned by those orient skies, but round about the circles of her globe, of her keen eyes, in the bordeaux of her robe was writ wisdom, a name to shake, or anarchies, as with a thunder fit. And when she spake, her words did gather thunder as her wren, and as the lightning to the thunder which follows it, riving the spirit of man, making earth wonder. So that the meaning to her words, so was the meaning to her words. No sword of wrath, her right arm hurled, but one poor poet scroll, and with his word she shocked the world.